Hello and welcome back to Lord Fen Gaming Plays Wasteland Remastered. I'm your host Lord Fen. In today's Wasteland Remastered video, we're going to do the entire Quartz investigation, which includes I'm giving out all the answers and more. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Wasteland content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. Now, in the last video, we did a two-for-one special, the Agriculture Center, and we also did the Nomad Rail Camp investigations. They were both done and finished. Plus, we got Perception to level 2. Guess what? We're getting that to level 3, plus a few other miscellaneous skills in the course of this video right here. Yeah, we're going to get real use of that. And Quartz is the perfect place to do that. So, this is how you get to uh, Quartz right here. Just keep on going. Be careful of the waterfall. Just keep on going there. And there you go. We're going to Scott's Bar. That's the first thing we're going to do is that. So, this way we get the information. But before we actually hit the bar, let's go kill some uh, ghouls. And uh, get some nice uh, loot from them. Now, let's see what they dropped since they were easy. Broken toaster. <laughs> All right. Yes. But seriously, in Wasteland 2, you had to do was repair toasters and they have loot in it. Yeah, a small little thing had loot in it, which was great, though. So now we're going to Scott's Bar right here. And the first thing we're going to do is go in the ladies room. Yeah, we're going to send Ellen in right now to uh, charm the ladies in there. And they're going to give us some information. In other words, girl talk. Yeah. We're going to just do that. So this pan, your party members sent you the one in there. You want to go in there. All you have to do is just use your uh, charisma attribute and that's it. So let's go ahead and do it. Everyone is worried about Mayor Pedros, but others are held hostage too. Felicia Pedros, his wife, is our friend. We think she's been moved to the outlaw hideout. We hope you'll try to rescue her. And remember what Ellen said when you go to the stagecoach inn. They smile and leave. Now we got some vital information right here. That is very important. So now we're going to the men's room right here. Unfortunately, there are some thugs. This is cool though. You get to use the toilet, which is really nice. So first thing we're going to do is go inside the uh, men's room and uh, fight. Now that is over with, so we're going to talk with the teenage boy. So what we're going to do is type the word chat, and then we're going to type the word ugly, get more information, then gang, and there you go. We got that information there. Now type in courthouse, and there you have it. So now we have to do is uh, go talk to the Riddler. Yeah, put that information Riddler too. So this way you could actually, uh, you know, advance the story a bit. This is like gathering clues at this point. So now next thing I am do is I'm going to do is uh, talk to, uh, I think it's right here. Yeah, I think it's here. We're going to talk to a head crusher and talk to a dancer and get his reaction. That's all right, but still, that's the only thing you get from him. But there are so many things you could do in this game by talking to certain NPCs with certain keywords. And you'll uh, benefit from that. So next thing we're going to do right now is go ahead and search the uh, tables. Because the writing on the wall, there's an actual uh, clue here, which is very uh, good. So keep on searching. Now grab this one right here. That's very important. That's a partial spelling, I think it is. I'll put time sent video for those. And this one you want to look for is right here exactly. U R A B U T L N. Say those words when you are there. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to get into combat, which is happening now. Now, we're going to speak with the Riddler. The first answer I did off screen was toast. Yeah, that's the first one. Now, the second one's R because that's the uh, middle one right there. And last but not least is U R A B 
U T L N. Those are the words you need to type in exactly. That was found on the table right there because you're going to be using that to communicate. And there you go. And we got ourselves to advance the next step right here. Exactly going to the uh, barmaid Ellen right here. This is like one of those uh, split up again, which is really uh, cool. That's what the disband is all about. Getting rid of uh, certain unwanted NPCs or separating your party members so they could do something else by themselves, which is really uh, cool here. So what we're going to do right now is uh, get ready to split up and we're going to type in those words right here and she's going to give us another uh, password. So we'll just have my main guy right here, Fenton Murphy. We're going to talk to the barmaid and we're going to type in the words U-R-A-B-U-T-L-N. Type that in and she gave us a word which is U-R-A-Q-T-2. Yeah, that's the word right there. U-R-A-Q-T-2. Yeah. I'll put timestamps in the video for those. This way y'all could uh, pull that from my uh, sticky or the description of the video. Now we have to go visit uh, Lori in room 18 at the Stagecoach Inn. Yeah, we're going to say the other password right here. I'm going to put timestamps in the video. Also, as another reminder, I'm going to put those passwords there so this way people can use it and get easy access to it. So this uh, right here, I'm just going to keep on going over here. There's going to be a little bit of a wave of combat after I uh, go through this part right here. I'm going to return immediately afterwards. Now, the next step I'm going to do is uh, go into Stagecoach in, make an impromptu save right here, so in case I do mess up. So let me uh, do that right now. You want to make sure you save often, save early, otherwise you'll be put far behind if something bad happens to you. So let's get into trouble. Now this next part right here, we're going to go behind the counter right here and go mess with the cook. Yeah, we're going to steal some stuff from him. So we're going to do that right now. He's going to try to toss oil at us. Since we have the armor on, or I should say the Kevlar shirts. Yeah, that means we're going to survive this. There we go. We got the knife and fruit. He's angry at us. He ain't going to do nothing. So now the next step right here is we're going to talk to the front desk guy right here. Room costs 50 bucks. It's not worth it. However, there is a safe behind here, but we got to climb over the rails. We're going to do just that and get into uh, trouble. Now, after we did some basic murder right here, you need to have your bomb disarm character right here. Just go ahead and use that. Point the direction that is west right here. And if you do it right, yeah, that means you disarm the bomb. There you go. Now you have your uh, pick lock person right here to uh, pick the uh, lock right here and loot everything up. See, we got some cash, plastic explosives, and a book. Something tells me those books are really useful. So now next up right here, what we're going to do right now is... Uh, Start checking out some of the rooms right here. We're not going to go in all of them, but we're going to check the key one. So climb over and on the way there, we're going to fight. There you go. That was easy uh, bow right here. Now these doors right here, they could up your uh, pick lock skill right here, at least through the two. It'll take quite a few doors right here to do that. Still, if you want to start uh, picking locks on the doors, yeah, do it. Yeah, this is the uh, number 10 room I'm doing right now. Try to do it. It will take a few tries, though, but we're going to try this one instead. So I'm going to do is uh, pick the lock right here, then try again on number 10. Then I'm going to get into uh, combat because there's a whole bunch of foes. However, there is an item we do need 
for this uh, area here just a little bit later. So for now, check this room out if you see something. After that, you go in the next room above there and get into troubles, which I'm going to do exactly. Now, if you have perception up, it'll automatically appear. If not, you just got to stand in a certain spot, like that uh, chair that was above where, where I uh, got the actual uh, item we need. Now, we found this bum right here. It's going to give us some information right here. And you just got to do is just keep on typing the right words. I typed gang. That didn't work. I typed courthouse, I think it was. Let me see here. No, it's mayor. Yeah, you type mayor, and I'll actually, uh, he'll give you something before passing out. So now we have an update. And a secret that just been revealed. So we're gonna go right now in this one room up ahead. We're gonna do some B and E and get into uh, some serious trouble. Now we're going to attempt to check out room number 15 right here. Despite the fact I do have perception in two for all my characters, thanks to the AG center uh, pathway I did in the last video here. Yeah, it's supposed to be on one of the tables right here. It'll pop up the special uh, booze we need. Yeah, we're going to need exactly two of those because there's two bums north for the above room 15. They're guarding something. Now we're going to lockpick these doors right here for the lockpick skills before we talk to Lori in room 18. You gotta use the key. If you lockpick it, she will instantly turn hostile. So remember at room 18, use the key from Ellen. And then afterwards, what will happen is uh, Lori will uh, give you an actual password check because, yeah, you want that because she's going to give you another password. And this is going to be for entry into the courthouse front door. So the password is U R A Q T 2. So remember that word U R A Q T 2. And there you go, you're gonna loot up the contents of whatever items there are. And then afterwards, Lori is gonna bail. Oh yes, she is gonna bail, so grab all that. And there's a, a rocket launcher, I think it is, a mangler, which is very useful. Hold on to those, because so many people on the wasteboard community boards who play this game said it's very useful. Lori's bye-bye, so what we're gonna do is uh, lockpick two more rooms right here. We're going to clear this last room out. After we clear it out, we're going to use our uh, disarm bomb character once again. Now the room is clear. Now we're going to get near the bed right here. Yeah, we're going to get in the spot where I'm about to go to. Now there's a bomb right here. So use your character that disarms bombs. So we're going to use uh, John Danko. I'm going to point the direction. There you go. 
it didn't work we're going to try again do not uh, lock pick it otherwise yeah you'll blow up I'm going to do bomb this arm move it forward there you go and we're going to pick John loot everything up there's a cache clips and TNT I heard TNT is very valuable in the game I would advise holding on to that because you may never know now this next step right here we're going to lock pick this white door here yeah we're going to do that before we actually uh, do do that I'm doing a last minute check and I'm going to go back to the uh, other room where the uh, special liquor is at. I'm going to try again at it. See, I decided to get a clear head because some reason I didn't uh, find it yet. So perception is supposed to uh, kick in. Unfortunately, even with two perception, it didn't work. I test run this uh, quite a few times. It was instant. For some reason, it didn't do anything. And there you go. There is the bottle right here. And we're going to loot that up. So that's it right there. We're going to lockpick the store right here. We have our two bottles. And we'll give it to the bums. I'll put timestamps in the video. So go ahead and use the bottles right here up ahead on the character. Point forward. And that's it. It's real simple. Yeah, one's gone. Then the other one's going secret way to the courthouse. You go through that way. Well, you probably have to do some combat. But we have the password, which is uh, Murte. M-U-E-R-T-E. -E. Yeah. Laurie gave us the password. We're going to go through the front door because of that. And we'll be able to go through the courthouse. This is the courthouse password. So y'all set and done here. So we're back in the courts right here. And we're going to go to the courthouse. Now my character is about level 5 or 6. Or yeah, they have a good rank. We're starting to clear out foes really uh, fast. To the fact that uh, yeah, I pump up some agility and some dexterity. Which is really uh, cool. I remax out... Um, intelligence and a little bit of luck so this guy right here is going to ask you for the password it's m-u-e-r-t-e -E. i'll type that in the description and also in the sticky so this way you get through it i'm going to make a quick impromptu save because we're going to go through the courthouse it is three full hours of fun and there's a whole bunch of enemies we have to defeat so you know what we're going to do that now we're going to kill the first set of enemies right here and uh then All right, we uh, trashed some enemies here. This is uh, really uh, cool here. So now we're on the second floor. M-U-E-R-T-E, Murte. Yeah, those are the words. I can't pronounce it at this point. <laughs> Still use the description in the video or timestamps to help you out. Now this right here is very important. Go to this desk right here. It gave you another hint right here, which is very uh, dire. Seriously, it just gave you uh, something to uh, give. Also, a new password is kaput. Yeah, K-A-P-U-T right here, which is really uh, good. And I believe we got the location for our next area. Yeah, we have that location. So now we're going to clear out the courthouse because, yeah, we're going to need to do that. And there's two people we have to save. Yeah, we have to save them. So you know what? We're going to go in this room right now. And we're going to use our silent check right here since my character is good in that. I'll return after everything is all cleared out. You lift up Louis's lifeless wrist to look at his gold ID bracelet. Twisting it over to view the underbelly, you see 27 etched on the dull surface.
You flip the lifeless Huey onto his back with the toe of your boot. After you rummage through his pockets, you start removing his jewelry, having a particularly hard time working the ID bracelet over his swollen hand. You finally separate it from the dearly departed with a hand jerk that pops the bracelet off. Flipping over the bracelet, you read the only etching of Eleven. You unceremoniously rip the bracelet from Dewey's limp wrist, rubbing it against your chest several times to remove the blood. You see 16 engraved on it. Now we got three numbers exactly. First one was 27, another one was 11, and the last one was 13. Now if you have a canteen here, very important use of canteen on this character right here. And you want to recruit him in your party right here because if you have him in your party right here, what will happen is, is uh, on the third floor when you save the mayor, you get $1,000. That's something cool right here. Now we have ourselves another party member, so we're going to do the same thing. Do the encounter button, the E button. It might be different on the Xbox One, folks, but still, you do that. And there you go. Another Dan is on our team, so what we're going to do right now is we'll have to fight our way out. Good news is we won't be able to see Huey, Dewey, and Louie on Disney+. Plus. Okay, that's a joke. Now that was the uh, gambling room. Our next stop is the third floor to save the mayor right here because that's very important right here. It's going to give us another piece of information after we save him and we'll get a free thousand dollars which I'll use on some of these characters here. So you go upstairs on the third floor and there are going to be some enemies to uh, defeat. Now, next stop is we're going to save the mayor. While we're at it, we're going to explore around here some more. Yeah, we're going to search for some loot right here. Okay, nothing else. I'm just using this as an excuse to do some lock picking. Also, I'm just uh, getting access to the first floor right here, which have we have now. That's pretty uh, good right here. So now we get to go uh, downstairs a little bit. We have to probably lock pick one more time, but we're going to get into trouble uh, first. Now that's done and over with, so we're going to go over here right now. And we're going to go into the prison right here. I'm going to try to do some lock picking. Yep, we're going to do that once again here. Yep. We're going to do some serious lock picking right here. Just got to keep on trying and keep on at it. Yeah, my lock picking probably should be almost at, uh, I think, two by now. Yeah, I think this area caps you at two. Tougher areas, you get a higher cap. I will probably eventually will raise up lock picking, but I'll probably focus on perception and medic right here. So this way I could... Uh, survive a lot longer and also uh, be more perceptive so what we gotta do right now is lock pick the cells right here yeah i'm gonna try to lock pick some of this area here yeah i will try to do it there you go and there's our money right here and you just gave us some information right here this is a uh, very good here and awesome so that is now uh done next up we're going to save the mayor's wife right here and i'm going to show everybody where the location of the hideout is at yeah we're going to go towards the hideout so that is uh, two people down save and two more to go. We will need to save Ace though. That's going to be our main objective for this uh, mission right here. And nothing much is here. Okay. And now what we're going to do is get out of the courthouse and go into the uh, hideout for this video. Okay, this isn't bad right here. Okay, yeah, I got a lock pick. Oh, I forgot about that one. And there you go. Now we're going to go towards the first floor. Yeah, we'll get out of here. You see those uh, greenery right there? That was from the Stagecoach Inn. If you would have taken that route there, probably there would have been enemies there. Still, I take in the front door because we have the password. Now, here's the thing right here. If you try to say M-U-E-R-T-E -E, password at the hideout, yeah, you're going to get jumped instantly. It's going to sound the alarms. Now, because we went this way, we have to do safe cracking right here. Yeah, we got to use our safe cracker right here. We got to definitely uh, do that. So we're going to keep on trying until we open it up. We can also try lock picking. 
I think either one will uh, do, but I'm doing safe crafting for now in case I do get a skill up on that. And we're going to try again once we do that. As soon as we get out of this room right here, we're going to have to face some enemies here. At this point, it's very uh, easy for us, so let's take care of business. Well, we're almost out of the courthouse right here. Now, here's the thing right here about the courthouse. If you didn't give the proper password, you would have been facing more enemies. And if you do need the experience points for whatever characters you uh, need them on for that, yeah, that's fine. But for now, I'm showing everybody an efficient way to uh, fight less enemies. So this way, you don't have to worry. Now, the next area, oh, yeah, you're going to have to fight a whole bunch of enemies because as soon as we free Ace, the uh, Desert Ranger, yeah, they're going to jump us. So might as well just clear them all out in the next area. But for now, this area is like optional. Just uh, play it cool. You get into combat, you get into combat. So next up, we're going to go into the hideout here. So we're going to do uh, just that. And yeah, we're going to get out of here. And once I arrive, uh, I think uh, in front of the hideout, yeah, you want to make a save right here. You always want to make a save. Save often, save early. Now, after you're done make your save right here, you're ready to go in. What I did was is I decided to sell some uh, junk and heal up. Now, you see this guy right here. It's Kaput, K-A-P-U-T. Now, my advice is to clear everything out on the way to Ace, so let's do it.
by the way, this is a very good test right here of your party right here. If see if they could all survive, at least your four main characters here. This is like great right here. I'm having fun with this because I'm slaughtering a whole bunch of uh, killers here. Yeah, a whole bunch of bad guys are going to die horribly at this part of the video right here. I'm just looting everything up at this point so this way I could uh, sell it. And later on, again, the next town, I get to buy some things. And there's only one guy here. We're going to have to uh, kill him. That was like really easy. I think it is. Yeah, it's, he's about to die. It's just one guy here. So now the next room is a whole bunch of people we have to clear out. So we're going to do just that. Lock pick the door. We're going to clear out all the rooms here as much as we can to get to Ace. So go. let's go ahead and do this right about now. At this point in the video, I'm just making an excuse of just killing everything in sight. So this way, when I get Ace and save the mayor's wife, things will be much, much easier. So here we go on the uh, fun. Well, I thought this room was uh, done, but nope, there was a whole bunch of foes. Yeah, spots I didn't know about. Still, we're going to loot everything up and uh, try to get to Ace. Yeah, I'm going to try to get to Ace at this point in the video, but let's kill these foes. Well, the bar has been empty here. I had to carve my path some more, so this is uh, good right here. Make sure you uh, do loot everything up here. Now, when we go to the cell right here, I try to do some uh, pick locks right here on the door. I should say lock picking, and on my trial run, I actually uh, did do it. This time, not so much. Uh, yeah, RNG just uh, screwed me. So, you know what? I'm going to do is skip ahead right now on the uh, screw it part. I'm just going to blow the door open up. Since I do have a demolition skill, we're going to use plastic explosives, blow the door away, and get it open. This is how we uh, roll. Afterwards, we're going to 
offer Ace to join us, and there'll be a nice cut scene. So I'm going to show everybody the uh, fun. So there you go. We broke it in, and now what we're going to do is uh, recruit Ace because we got to keep him alive. This is very important here. You need to keep him alive in order to repair the Jeep. You don't have to repair the Jeep, but the next location is uh, Needle. So what we're going to do is recruit Ace, get a nice cut scene, and then we're going to save the mayor's wife next. A man sits up in the cell and stretches his arms. He squints at you as if you're brighter than the desert sun and then allows a small smile to grace his tan, weathered face. Rangers, I should have known. Listen, I've been sent down from Vegas to recruit folks who know the right end of a gun from the wrong. Bandits ain't the only thing crawling out of the desert, and we've got a war on our hands. Interested in heading back with me? Now Ace has joined the crew right here. Our next stop is what we're going to do right now is actually get to the mayor's wife right here. But we have to do is uh, go ahead and kill this uh, guard first. Now really quick while I'm going to make a save right here and lockpick the door right here. Here's how this uh, situation is going to happen here. We go in the next room right here. We get a nice uh, mini uh, cut scene here. Here's the thing right here. The mayor's wife. She has a dead man switch bomb right here. So we cannot kill ugly. Instead, while we're in the combat here, we have to disarm the bomb twice. Once we uh, do that, ugly and his guards will uh, die definitely. It's very simple. Make sure you have bomb this arm right here. If you do not have it, well, bad things will happen. So let's get the ball started. Now that Felicia has been saved, you earn a Steam achievement or Xbox One achievement, which is very cool either way. And also we got a full uh, party. Eventually, I am going to take out Dan and Felicia because they're alright, but not worth my style. Ace, I'll keep a while until uh, later on in the game. I'll uh, switch them out for someone else better, but we need to keep Ace alive. 
Now, what I'm going to do at this point in the video here is I'm going to show some people some interesting things here besides getting the Jeep to work. I'm going to show everybody how to get three perception. I'm not going to do all my characters here because, yeah, I'm a little bit short on time on this part. But still, what we're going to do is equip some of the characters here. Just uh, go around, change everything up here, and get everybody uh, ready to uh, go. So it looks like everybody's almost set and good to uh, go here. There we go. We got ourselves a few uh, bulletproof shirts here, which is really good. Felicia, I'll get herself one one of these days here. So this part's done right here. It's supposed to be a complete free quartz right here. For some reason, it's not triggering, but oh well. We're basically uh, done with this uh, investigation right here. We saved the mayor. We saved the wife. We saved the kid. Yeah, we also saved Ace here. So our next part here is uh, get Ace to the uh, Jeep right here. We're going to do uh, just that. So we're going to get out of here. Go repair the Jeep and head towards uh, Needles here. We're not going to end the video at Needles because here's one thing I want to tell everybody right now that, uh, yeah, we're not going to end it there. Instead, we're going to repair it. Okay, so we repaired the Jeep. Now we're traveling to Needles and we're going to be in the town of Needles right here. This is a uh, really cool right here. So we're in some kind of garage right here. So great news is we're in Needles right here. Unfortunately, the Jeep is uh, busted beyond repair here. It's busted so what I'm going to do right now is get back to uh, quartz right here because I'm going to show everybody where you get perception 3 on and how to actually uh, level up for that. Yeah seriously I'm going to do that so you go over the bridge right here you could have walked over there yourself but I just want to do certain things in order right here. We're going to go to the quartz right here and yeah you want to camp you always want to camp because you want to heal up so I'm healing up the full right now. It's a little bit annoying at this point that the uh, yard trash, that's what I'm calling them right now, is attacking me. But the next area will be uh, tougher, so I'll be looking for uh, bigger fish to uh, fry. Next video, I'm going to show a nice location for that after we visit the library. More of that towards the end of this video. So for now, what we're just going to do is rest up, go back into uh, courts right here. I'll show everybody where the perception uh, leveling is at, number one, and also uh, number two... Which I think is important is I'll show everybody the safe right here. I have issues with that despite the fact I had the uh, combination here. So I was trying to do at the time recording was to go back to Ranger's headquarters and drop off Ace after he was done. But nah. That didn't happen right here. Oh well. I'll keep uh, Ace in the uh, party for now. Like I said before until I replace him with someone better. The other two I might just uh, ditch. Still I'll just uh, have Ace as a... Uh, Mule. Yeah, he's going to be my uh, mule. Yeah, in other words, he'll be carrying all those excessive items we do not need. So what we're going to do right now is camp up, go back to uh, quartz right here, and do a little bit of the perception stuff. If we don't keep on getting jumped around like crazy. Yeah, look like they're uh, like honing in on us. It's like not cool at all. Yeah, seriously. I mean, come on. Yeah, they should know by now they don't want to miss anybody that's a uh, level 5 or 6. Because we're like OP at this point. So let's go in the uh, courts after we are done camping. Okay, we're in courts right now. There's a whole bunch of enemies on the way where we need to go to. We're going to need to get to the alley right here. This is uh, where we want to go actually for uh, one reason. It is to uh, level up perception, which I think is important. It's in between the uh, ugly hideout and that building here. So once you're here... Well, we're going to look for a certain spot right here to actually uh, use the rope right here. Yeah, at time recording, I didn't know where I was going, but still, it's the south end right here. It says you can look like you use a rope. That's a hint right here. So go ahead, bust out your rope right here and uh, go ahead and use it. Once you uh, do use it, that's very simple. Go ahead, hit the U key. Differ on the Xbox One. Still, you know what I'm talking about. Select the rope. Yeah, you want to select the rope. So yeah, hit the U, select the character with a rope. And we're going to go up. Once we go up, this is going to be very simple here. We're going to have to face combat first. Once we clear the rooftop enemies here, what will happen exactly is I'm going to show everybody how to level up perception here. This is like really easy. So we're going to do it right now. Here we go. Now, before I got into combat, you had to go on the skyline a few times. Just keep on doing that quite a bit. Everybody's perception will be leveled up to three right here, which is very good. 
Now the next step, what I'm going to do right now is the safe right here. I have issues to fight the fact I had the combination, which was very uh, good, the combination. So when we get to the safe right here, unfortunately, I had some issues trying to safe crack it. I might consider putting that to a uh, level two, might not. I'll uh, check it out ahead of time. But yeah, this is the safe right here. I tried to do it, but for some reason it wouldn't let me uh, do it at all which is uh, odd right here. Supposedly when I was supposed to tap the safe, I was supposed to open it up with the combinations and get in. Unfortunately, I did not. Instead, we're doing the uh, plastic explosive method. So I'm gonna show everybody that right now. In case you can't get a door open, simple. Make sure you're a demo person. In this case, Fenton Murphy right here blows the door open and we're gonna loot up the loot. Yeah, we're gonna get some cash here. Yeah, and uh, some uh, clips. Unfortunately, yeah, I can't carry though, but this is uh, cool right here, see? We're done with the safe, so we're done with quartz right here. Our next step is uh, when we get out here on the video. So let me give everybody a review of what happened in today's video. We got some passwords. Number one, the end has been uh, clear of bad guys. We saved some people. More bad guys has been killed. Quartz is now finished. Now in our next video here, we're going to learn about the library. We're going to do the mine shaft, and I'm going to do a secret project. Well, this is it for my Wasteland Remaster Part 4 Quartz video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day or night.